This video delivers practice problems on three fluid properties. First, density, which is the ratio of mass to volume at a point in space. Second, specific weight, which is the ratio of weight to volume at a point in space. Third, specific gravity, which is the ratio of density of a material to density of water when the water is at a reference temperature of 4 degrees C and a pressure of 1 atmosphere. The first problem is to answer the question, what does specific gravity mean? The second problem is to estimate typical values. What is the typical value of the specific gravity of gasoline, of milk, etc.? Try and do all practice problems from memory first and then use your book or other references. This means pause the video and try the problem yourself. If I was asked this question, I would write this equation. Specific gravity is defined as the ratio of density of the material to density of water at 4 degrees C. I can improve my answer by adding one atmosphere. So typical values. Specific uh, gravity of gasoline is 0 0.7, mercury 13.6, milk is about 1 because it's mostly water, propane I estimated 0 0.5, and steel 7.8. To validate, I went to www.engineeringtoolbox.com. They reported gasoline varied from 0.68 to 0.74, so my value was uh, pretty close. Uh, they reported the same value for mercury. For milk, they reported a slightly higher specific gravity, 1.02 to 1.05. So I'll remember this value is slightly greater than 1. For propane, 0.495. And for steel, uh, 7.85. This was from a different reference. Notice two things. I've specified the reference temperature for these properties. The reason is, is that specific gravity is a function of temperature. Number two, I cited my sources. This is good engineering practice. To use specific gravity, we need reference values of density or specific weight. It is useful to know these reference values in both traditional units and SI units. So, on this problem, see if you can remember the reference values in this various unit systems. If you need to, go ahead and use your text, pause the video, and try the problem. The reference values are listed here. Here's three tips for memorizing this list. First, memorize that the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. If you can remember that, if you multiply by 9.81, the gravitational constant, uh, you can remember that the specific weight of water is 98.10 newtons per cubic meter. Second, memorize that the density of water in, is 62.4 pounds mass per cubic foot. And once you know that, then you also know the specific weight, 62.4 pounds force per cubic foot. So you only really have to remember one thing here. Tip number three, memorize that one slug is equivalent to 32.2 pounds mass. So if you take this number and divide it by 32.2, the conversion ratio, you'll come up with about two slugs per cubic foot. And over time, you can remember this is 1.94 slugs per cubic foot. All these values are listed in table F.6 in the inside front cover of your text. So over time, commit these to memory, but while you're doing that, here's a handy place to check. For part A, interpret this symbol. What does this mean? And then fill in the blank. For part B, uh, go ahead and calculate these values in the requested units. Go ahead and pause the video and do this yourself. The bracket around a variable means primary dimensions. So the question is asking, what are the primary dimensions of this variable? And the answer is mass over length squared, time squared, as shown. As engineers, we show our work. Specific weight has dimensions of weight over volume.
Expressing these variables using primary dimensions here and here leads us to the answer. Notice that I validated my answer by using table 8.6 at the end of the book. On part B, we can use the equation relating specific weight and specific gravity. Recall that the reference value of specific weight for water is 62.4 pounds force per cubic foot. Thus, the specific weight of this liquid is around 93 pounds force per cubic foot. I like to make estimates without my calculator. When I used my calculator, which is here, uh, to check my estimate, I was within about one half of one percent. Not too bad for a quick estimate. The work in SI units is shown here, and the two answers are shown here. For this problem, prove that a liquid with a density of 90 pounds mass per cubic foot will have a specific weight of 90 pounds force per cubic foot. Pause the video and try this yourself. To do the proof, we relate specific weight to density. Substitute in values and then introduce a conversion ratio, g sub c. Cancel units and notice that the 32.2 also cancels. QED, it is proven. In review, note that proofs involve applying correct physics. For this problem, density is specified and the goal is to find the specific weight. Go ahead and pause the video and work this out. Feedback. Specific weight is related to density by this equation. Recall that the equations we use most often are summarized in table F.1 inside the front cover of our book. The calculation is very straightforward. To validate my solution, I ran the numbers a different way and got the same result. This gives me some confidence that I can trust my results. Woo-hoo!